then his kind of arms start kind of falling into the hole and his legs and after a, a small amount of time there is a almost rip in the warp oh that was a body hit wasn't it oh that's cool oh, yeah, oh, is there a rip in the warp we're in the warp right now yeah basically you can see into the warp through this hole oh, that's inside good. your ship that's pretty impressive it's also not good I'm going to assassin strike away <laughs> nope <laughs> nope here come the tentacles shit Oh god, he's bringing in Call of Cthulhu. Okay. It's another one of the ship huggers. But smaller. It's what, a third? I'm gonna lightning uh, attack this guy. Oh, no, I've only got swift. Would you have one that lets him hit twice? Swift, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They <laughs> <laughs> passed just one of them, which hit. Oh my god. <laughs> It's beautiful. I, wonder I, I can't I... even be mad. <laughs> <laughs> I've got blood. I've got blood streaming down her face, and I can't even be mad. <laughs> One hit unless he dodges. <laughs> wow. Nope, fails. Well, Just... whoever wrote that on there is right. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Nine plus seven. So that would be sixteen. Hey, where'd the hole in the wob go? Uh, someone cleared the whole drawing. Oh. Silly them. Yeah. There. Yeah. I put it back. Yeah, so that's enough to kill him. Hey. And no. now, all you have to worry about is the horrible, horrible hole into the warp that's in your ship. Okay, I put I... up a couple of signs saying, uh, wet floor, do not cross. Is, is it and then walk away. 11. Are we out of initiative? Eleven. Yep, you're out of in initiative. Right, oh. so I'm going to here. This is not my department. I'm going to peer at it. I I'm also going am... to peer at it with science. That worked really well. I wish I could have run that on, I don't know, my power field. Okay, you're pretty sure that this is negating the effect of the Geller field? The whole game. Uh, the whole game. Basically, the you, whole have an empty, field? you have an the empty field hole in, in the, the middle field. of the ship. So your Geller field is protecting the ship. This is bypassing the Geller field. Okay. Uh, it's probably not a good idea to continue in the warp like this. What happens if I shoot the plasma crystal into it? Um, the bolt just disappears into the hole and it crackles a little bit. Um, okay. Can I roll so if I, I just take a piss into it, if we build a huge adamantium cage all around it, we can use it as garbage disposal. <laughs> I, I, I just want to point out that, you know, it's a two-way door. Why is Trosk running away? <laughs> I don't He's hate heard it about about the the Okay, I'm flying... <laughs> so... <laughs> He's, he's, he's By the way, I, I, I'm going to have to say this because, yeah, you were kind of saying about pissing into it. When you piss into the void, the void pisses into you. Oh, no. <laughs> gain, gain what, like five corruption points? Peeing into the warp. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I'm going to roll Forbidden Law Warp to see if I know anything about this. Yeah. This hey, unless you want me to hit this thing with my hammer, I'm not exactly the go to guy for this problem. Degrees. Mm hmm. Yeah, three degrees. Four, I guess, with bash harvest, but... Yeah, you've heard of these um, before. They're very rare, but they're kind of, you know, warp scars. It should only persist while you're in the warp. Oh, that's handy. Yeah. But this uh, is a bad place to drop out. Yeah, unfortunately, to get out of the warp, you would have to pretty much just drop out uncontrolled. Into the cauldron. So, Thank we got the choice of an unplanned warp exit, which could leave us anywhere... Yeah. Or no Gellerfield for the rest of the trip. Yeah. Which would be bad well, because I would, I would probably make bad things happen to you if you could carry on with no Gellerfield. Yeah, it's sort of like I'm thinking we're going to have warp encounters all the goddamn time. Yeah. We have a day worth like... of encounter, so. Um. Okay. Um. Right. Difficult, difficult choices. Um, 
I'm gonna get a member of the crew. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm gonna send them on a very special mission. Oh no. <laughs> So you need to I'm putting people into the war. Well, no, 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 no. It's a much more important mission than that. They need to go and get me a pallet of our press packs. <laughs> <laughs> I have no knowledge of what the Imperium thinks of this particular course of action. No, no one's tried to PR bump the Chaos Gods before. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone won't be annoyed at us. <laughs> so, uh, that means that trust is going to have his face plastered all over the warp. Yes. The Chaos yes, Gods are going to know exactly what it, all the demons are going to know exactly what trust looks like. <laughs> you better get that Twitch mask fast. <laughs> Yep, the pallet will disappear in quite nicely. Excellent. Um, I suppose we'd better make an emergency realisation jump thing. Yeah, I guess we should. Um, How'd you do oh, that? I guess we should have asked for some healing before the robot ran away. Hmm. Um, It'll take me 10 minutes it, to meditate it, off my fatigue because I don't like making untranslated jumps while sleepy. Do you okay, have to do something, or do I just tell Macarius to turn off the big red machine? Well, I, I know, I think we just pretty much go to the bridge and turn off the big red machine. Well, turn on the big red machine that makes us come out. I just have to turn it on early. And it gets grumpy when you wake it up. Well, that's what we've got <clears throat> tech people for. Yep. I'm going to sort of stand here and watch this thing to see if it does anything amusing. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll head to the bridge and, and translate us into real space. Excellent. <laughs> and I am going back to the Enginearium and tinkering with the skulls. You're praying. It's, it's not a bad plan praying right now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's. Do I even uh, have warp? Okay. Um, Bit C severely off course. Friends. You can make me a hard minus twenty navigation warp test. Oh, that's I've easy. I've an eighty on my test to lie into the warp. <laughs> when you lie into the warp, the warp lies into you and makes um, minus twenty. Uh, that's still a pass, you know. All right. Unless so the, yeah, that's still a pass. Ah, you lucky sod. By exactly two. <laughs> so, this is a slightly off course. Oh, only slightly. Yep. Okay. Um. <coughs> Have we emerged at Alan again? No, you've arrived on target. Wow. Yep. You've actually managed to steer the, the ship into footfall. If only we could chart right. that course. Physically into the yeah. yeah, course. We, 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 we um, sort of um, uh, translate well inside the. Um, yeah, the, the warning area. translation zone. The polite zone. So I hope the piling crew is alert. Oh, yeah. God, I'm going to have to apologise for the arbites again. Yes, you've broken several laws <laughs> about not jumping into the middle of the system. Um, oh, but Theodorus is not happy with you. Oh, yeah. um, no, no, you, you're like a troublesome teenager. You're, you're the damn kid. I am kid. Have to... <laughs> huh? Yeah. I'll send him a fruit basket. <laughs> send him a fruit basket. Yeah, he, he kind of gets. A, he's getting used to these regular donations of fruit baskets. <laughs> Every time you come in the system, you, you pretty much just send him one ahead of time. Admittedly, the last one we got was probably several years ago in his timeline. Yeah, yeah. Well, you don't know, because he jumps around a bit as well. Alright, so you've, you've managed to make it to footfall. Hooray, we're not Hooray. dead. Yeah, so what's our dead. ship doing now? Huh? Your other ship what is... That we were... Yep, that's fixed. You've managed to do the massive upgrades. The evil hole has 
disappeared now then. Yep, the evil hole disappears as soon as you exit walk. Good. Do we do we have some people with flamers? Yes. On board? You always have flamers on board. You're, this is an imperial vessel. Yeah, then they're they're probably gonna want to sort of burn that corridor about yep. once every ten Speaking minutes for a couple that, of days. <laughs> we need to get a priest. So we have bug problems in the librarian. That is a true so we thing. We can't set it on fire. Oh, that's true, we do. Um, what about man? So, how much would it take to hire a priest? Um, I'm pretty sure you can hire a priest without, you know, rolling for it. They're kind of ten a penny. Yeah, but I want a good okay, one. Okay, how much to hire a good priest? Um, well, again, it's not going to... Even hiring the good priest isn't going to make a dent in your profit factor. Okay. Then... I suppose we'd better get the ships patched up. Yep. So for the weeks that we're going to be doing that, mind if we take some time to shop for ourselves? Yep, go on. I'll remove Seb's friends now. Oh. oh. We sad to see them go. Were, were, were they actual members of the Astrophatic Choir? Um, a mix. He's been picking up friends in different places for quite a while now. Yeah, he even picks up off the Strixus vessel we met. Do the remainder of the Astropathic Choir have any idea what the hell was just going on? Um, not that they say to you. Okay, then they're obviously you bad at they the plan it or going to get they, shot. They probably didn't know what's going on. You're executing the entire Astropathic Choir and replacing them then? Yes. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's a, it's a good, um, yeah, good procedure. If they couldn't tell that their like leader was possessed by some hideous warp creature, then I'm not going to trust them to do anything <coughs> ever. All right, so very rare. So minus mm. twenty. I want to get two of them. Get uh, trivial. But that's two for that's something. Interesting. Huh? huh? Why, why I'm, I'm going to be getting five las cannons. Just normal why, why las cannons. Why did roll a two? Oh, my mic was off. Um, sorry, that was for a best quality forearm power blade. Oh. We're doing personal shopping. Yeah. I've been talking this whole time, and my mic's been off. Uh, <laughs> Uh, right. Um, so I'm getting, so I'm getting an experience on. Yeah, I'm machine. getting five man portable las cannons, which, at uh, just common quality, will give us a plus zero modifier. Okay. All right. So versus what's our profit factor? Seventy something. Seventy six. Seventy six. Yes, I got five la man portable las cannons. You do know what I'm going to be doing with these, right? Strapping them to every arm with your. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm going to twin link one of two of them together. Mm. <laughs> and the other three, I'm probably just going to store someplace. So, yeah. Oh. If anybody else wants one, then I could twin link two. Uh, two sets and then have an extra one for whatever. Yeah, because the manual mentions twin linking, but no weapon in the entire of all the books actually has twin linked, so we assume it's just an armory upgrade. They exist in other games. Yeah, there's just none in here, even though there's storm bolters. I, I think they only exist as, like, um, mounted vehicle weapons. Yep. But twin linking is a thing that you can do as uh, weapons. It's in the armory. But it doesn't... What? Well, okay. yeah, as a quality, but not as a modification. Oh, that's true. I don't think there are any twin linked weapons Again, at all. There, so there are... Well, no, not uh, man portable. There's plenty that are attached to vehicles. Yeah, because once you twin link in last guns, it's kind of hard to pick them up. They're going to be like 100 kilos at least. Uh, 110, yes. Uh, 
Damn dog. Hi, dog. <laughs> um, I guess since I just found another five rounds out of it, because I got a round of ammo eventually, because I should well. try and pick up a, a best quality um, shuriken pistol ammunition, which is the same quality as a weapon. But you don't need best quality ammunition. Ammunition is just of quality. Well, I don't know. Do I need to roll best quality or do I just need to roll my ammunitions? I don't think ammunition can have. Yeah, I don't think ammunition has a quality because it's ammunition. Uh, no, so that's what I roll for uh, a. A pistol then. for ammunition. Yeah, normally you get it with weapon unless you steal it off an Eldar captain. And forget to pick up ammo. Looking at. Ammo is, uh, what kind of ammo is it? Uh, shuriken ammo. Exotic is very rare. Very rare, that's what, minus 20 or something? Minus 20. And since you're getting it for one person, that's plus 30. And there's no quality, so it's plus zero, so. Unless you're buying so it for a bunch of people, uh, that's no, a plus no, 10. No, no, you can buy great ammo. So plus 10. That's 10, 86, and I roll a 62. That's that's enough ammo. So now I have ammunition. <coughs> so so I had the fight with Sempon on longer. I was going to try and hide him in my gaze and then just try and pin him. So I keep trying to run to find cover. But now I don't have to because he's, he's, he's splattered. Can I buy a motorbike? Yes. You don't even need to roll for that. Excellent. I just want it so I can drive it around in the ship. Yep. <laughs> you get away on both sides while you do it. I'm going That's to, while he's not looking, modify it so that every time he takes a, that every time he puts on the gas, uh, flames spark out the back. Why would you need me not to be looking to do that? <laughs> he kind of wants that. He's a 16 year old. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's because it actually fires a flavour. The, the only reason I haven't gone full, sort of all the way and bought like a Space Marine Scout bike is because it would be too big for me to ride comfortably. And probably. You must be nearly fully grown by now. Well, yeah, but I'm not a Space Marine. Uh, true, true. That is but I problem. could modify it so that you could ride it. Yeah, but, you know. Put some, put some um, boosters on the seat and whatnot. <laughs> so, yeah, I've got a bunch of las cannons to do with. So, I guess that's, that's where it's gonna take. If we're gonna be here a while, I'm gonna heal up all my wounds because I have Hardy, so all healing is just done in like lightly wounded. Do you want me to do the raw Medicaid on you so that you're fa faster? Nah, I'll be fine. It's gonna be like two days. I guess okay. four days or something. Yeah, four days. Yeah, well, it took some time for me to buy the things, so. Yeah, and, and I assume you get a real ship repair again, which will take us a couple of weeks. So oh, I'm going to grab and a And we've got to repair the ship, so. Yeah. And I need to stop blocking my mic when I'm talking. Do we have anything basically <coughs> proof? You know, um, the friendly, not friendly chief of the local ecclesiarchy? Yep. I want to go and have a small conversation with him. Okay. Because I figure he's the kind of person who'd know what the correct, you know, loyal imperial citizen should do if he fears that some other imperial citizen of considerable power is falling to the taint of the Dark Gods. Okay, so yeah, you can easily make a nice little um, 
well, it won't take you long to get a audience with him. Of course, you're a rogue trader. Mm-hmm. So, he says, ah, my friend, how can I help you today? Hello. Uh, I'm, uh, I've, I've, uh, we're having a bit of a problem. Oh, and you need me to help you, you know, by an indulgence for your sins, I assume. It's a uh, troubling time of life. No, 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 nothing of that sort. Um, it's with, uh, one of the other rogue traders in the expanse. You know the ecclesiarchy can't get involved in conflicts between rogue traders. Um, uh, I fear that he or those who support him may have become tainted by the ruinous powers. This is a very serious accusation. Which which dynasty are we talking about? Well, uh, I mean, of course you have proof. Well, we have a dead space marine. Yeah, um, that's mostly been melted. Like like we should have. Yeah, you did like, say you were going to burn him down. You haven't got yeah, any, you anything that we recognise. Ah, it's a space marine. Sorry, oh. that was a cat's head to my foot. I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm basically going to tell him the story what of the our last recorded conversation. Space battle. Yeah. There it comes. Yes. And we've still the got some awesome stash. So I'm going to tell him the story of our space battle. Yep. And then I'm going to tell him of the uh, incursion that occurred on our journey back here. Okay. Um, I think this occurs. Quest skill check. What sort? Um. Lav is the only thing really. Or about charm, since he's you charm, know telling yeah, the truth. Charm, yeah, <laughs> charm. Charm's a bit closer. Okay. Slightly uh, better than my mic. It got twisted all the way. Sixty-three. Oh, you just make it. That is a success by three degrees. Oh yeah, because you got bonuses to that. I was reading the wrong column. I was reading the first column. But yeah. Yeah, I've got. Plus twenty and peer ecclesiarchy. So, hmm. Well, we can't be a hundred percent sure. What you say is definitely merits more. You know. Ah, oh, but, but perhaps you could help me to understand what sort of evidence would be required to. Uh, well, it's fairly difficult to move against a rogue trader. Um, well, I, I understand that quite clearly. <laughs> um, the the Inquisition would need either video proof or heretical documents in the you know, rogue trader's hands. I'm a, I'm a pick caster, just so you know. Sorry. I have video evidence. Yeah, video evidence. Did, did you have video evidence of the um, Coast Marine? Yeah, because I was there at oh. the fight. Yep. It was, yeah. Yep. So that would go a good way. <laughs> I also have uh, some miners on board my ship who worked at one of his facilities who stated that the ships that we fought in orbit were recent allies of Mr. Zazen. Hmm. Okay. I feel that this is a more of a matter of the, for the Inquisition than for us. Um, I mean, we can do uh, what we can, but yeah, yeah. we will move against... Uh, we will... Bring in the, the Inquisition in, present your evidence, and hopefully they will be able to advise us. If they feel that there is need, we'll mo begin moving against all his um, assets on the base. For now, we will start watching things on footfall, but really we need more information of what is happening. Um, he is based somewhere near here? 
Uh, he has a small cluster of bags that are under his control, yeah. Thanks. And, um, do you know what kind of forces we're dealing with here? Uh, his space fleet has been greatly diminished, but if he is in league with the followers of the Dark Gods, then I cannot really guess at what forces he may be able to present. This is a problem. We really need to find out more about what's going on on his worlds. Um, if we do not know what we're facing, we don't know what to send. If he has no ships left, we could easily dispatch a couple of our ships. But if there's a, a large fleet there, we do not want we to send us. We know that they are in the process of constructing a grand cruiser. They have at least one other cr uh, light cruiser and an indeterminate number of frigates. As well as whatever. As well as whatever the, uh, the chaos might be given. able to bring. Mm. We need more information. That is one of the first things we need to do. Okay, well, if, if you can uh, begin whatever processes would be necessary for contacting the requisite peoples. Um, no one likes I, the word inquisitor. Yes, I. I believe that I and my accomplices can endeavour to obtain you some further and more, well, for want of a better word, damning evidence. That would be very useful. As I say, we can check as much as we can, but without proper evidence and more idea of what kind of forces he can bring to bear, we can't move. I, I understand. Uh, yes, you're Necessarily, we cannot rush into war without knowing what we are to fight against. Uh, excellent. So I shall contact contact the required uh, people, and you shall hunt for as much information as possible. Agreed. Agreed. I thank you greatly for your time and benediction. Yes, thank you for bringing this to our um, notice. Right. And then just the general required pleasantries to yeah, shut up. yeah. <laughs> your, your your latest confession, you know, the tides. <laughs> There's always tides. Oh, the oh, I'll ask him if he knows where I can get a new tennis under manager because the last one's gone insane. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can find a decent um, tennis player around here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It may take a little while, but yeah, and you won't be as good as your last one. Yeah, possibly not. But you know, that's what the tennis manager's for. Did we tell them the what? name of the chaos god? Because I wouldn't have told anyone else which what, what the actual name was, aside from you know recognizing it. No, you would. You, I think road traders would know um, of the ruinous powers, but like stuff like names. Could be a bit beyond. Yeah, yeah. I'm I mean, just thinking we any... might want to. If, if might it... want to <laughs> quietly mention to the head priest because I don't want everyone to know his name. The sort of you know the the, the sort of name of the chaos god quietly because because well, you know knowing the names even is heresy. Yeah, that's enough to get most people killed. Even knowing, that, uh, technically, even knowing that they, there are ruinous powers in the warp is enough to get most people killed. Yeah. Yeah. And and I have the unfortunate pleasure of knowing their names. <laughs> yeah, so you you're actually one of the few people who actually can know their names. Yeah, I'm. Well, I'm one of the, I'm one of the few people. Mine. place that they know mine. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did, did, trust, did, trust did, an even worse place because they know his face now. Yep. <laughs> I'm hoping to get to see, like, oh, um, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, like, pink and blue horrors come out that have just got his face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that when he comes back, he's going to just say thanks, guys. <laughs> well, if I mean, he some really nice people. With his photos. <laughs> <laughs> He had dumped a bunch of his press packs into the warp. <laughs> I believe the correct term is distributed. Yeah, 
we we reached people that would never otherwise have been reached. <laughs> I can't really consider demons people. Well, so we um, were once. To, to be fair, you're a robot. We can't consider you people either. Yeah, and Trosk's an alien. He's not a person. He's definitely not a person. Don't have to argue about that one. And in fact, you're you're like near psycho person as well. So I don't know if I can consider, consider you a person. I mean, I might be alone in the people here. Well, no yeah, but, nobility. Yeah. True. Well, kind well, of nobility are there. allowed to get away with more mutations than the regular people. Yeah. Speaking of personhood, we need to see about getting me sanctioned. (laughs) Given that this employment is becoming more and more of a permanent thing. Actually, it probably would be good to do that before the Inquisition arrived. (laughs) Why? We we might want to do that next time we visit. Oh, if we don't want to do it this time. Uh, yeah, I don't want to weigh the poor man down with too many... Well, no, it's not the ecclesiarchy that we go to. It's the administratum. Yeah. It? So it's technically a different organization. I, I have no idea who actually needs to be talked to about this thing at all. Yeah, you basically just need to buy a pet license for him. Uh, uh, I was hoping we'd avoid that, but technically, yes. It's an acquisition test at uh, very rare. Is it? Oh, I can get one of them. Without, without any other battery. Uh, so that's going to be minus, minus 20. 20. Yeah. Let's see if we can get one of those. Yes, we can. <laughs> also, there's interviews and stuff like that and purity testing and so on. Yeah. I can tell them of the fantastic way that you slammed that thunder hammer through a Chaos Space Marine's face. And you, you slammed a... Uh, Horrible psycho, so hard that he he literally. Yeah, got you're two for two for the horrible ruins. Well, we, we we don't want to tell him that he accidentally broke oh. the warp rift. That could get him in trouble. You get you all in trouble. You probably won't don't want to mention the warp rift at all. No. Especially considering that some of us were within a couple feet of the thing. Mm. Yeah. Arms reach. Does everyone like to make me a willpower test now? He's just realised that. Fuck. Yes. I, I already know. I pass. <laughs> That's a pass. With a degree of success or two, depending on what applies. Uh, and I failed. Right, D5. Corruption. Which you absorb. Of course. Yep. <laughs> no, you, 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 you have all stared into the wall, and none of you have been bothered by it at the slightest. <laughs> okay, that's my day job. I picked up a couple of insanity points. And a couple of corruption points. True, true. I just well, love I how every time you ask us to roll one d five for a corruption, I always manage to roll a one. Yeah, you're yeah. One. yeah. I've had um, aside from sin, I think I've actually had more corruption events uh, come on to me than anybody else on the crew. But you probably have the least corruption or something like I've that. Only got what four. are you at? Yeah, you have. Less than me, and I've only been dinged once for eight. Yeah, because you kind yeah. of um, and I was the one that was holding the damn sword. That's why you had the most corruption events because you were yeah. holding that sword. Yeah. So yeah. Huh. That better looks odd. So someone's been writing on it. <laughs> <laughs> also, like how even now his skull has got a top hat. <laughs> is, what the hell is on that guy's hat? Is that a uh, Yang Yang? I'm not oh, sure. Which guy's hat? The I middle know, the guy's hat. hat. The one with a nice Shadow. stash. Looks like a top hat. The top of one there. I don't think anyone's no, it's, it's, on it's, hat. It's a pipe. It's a um, pipe hat. It's a pipe rabbit hat on top of a top hat. <laughs> That's what it looks like. like on the side with his top knot is a bit weird. Yeah. <laughs> the one on the left, the one with the top hat. The samurai on the left. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, the guy yeah, with the weird he's banner. Like, he's probably a flayed one, of, or probably a flagellant or something. Nah, no, he's got too much on him. 
Maybe he's got an auto flagellation armor. Maybe he's got an auto armor. <sighs> right. So that banner just looks weird. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, right. you're not speaking to them anyway. Oh yeah. yeah. It's also. You know. It's just than... every time we go see them, it gets more and more drawn. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah. Of course. I don't think we really need the uh, the mines of Fletrian map anymore. I think that fell into obsolescence, considering that um, I don't think anything usable is there anymore. I thought the planet's still there, just nothing serviceable. If they want to use it again, they have to build a new colony. Yeah. Um, and we're likely going to be getting contacted by the Inquisition soon. At some point, but we're probably going to have to run a quick recce at the actual lecture and cluster itself. <clears throat> What's going on in there? That's probably going to be some of the thing that they're going to talk to us about. Yeah, it's sort of, we need to know what they want to know. Um, like, besides just force disposition. And I well, think we're going to end up having to leave the Shadow of Cicero here for a while unless um, the repairs that I missed hearing because of Dog went really well. No, we didn't do well for any repairs. Probably um, the next thing we if, should do. If yeah. we left yep. actually the Shadow here to be repaired and took the newly repaired thingy with us. Battle Cruiser. Or Cruiser. Yeah, whatever. Like the, uh, the um, <laughs> because we don't have any fighters still for the... Um, I'm just going around getting some... <laughs> Some strike craft for the the um, claw. Yeah, we could do. Mm. Oh, there's nothing else use without it. But I was thinking, take the um, the light, like the um, juice, so I should say. Deus. Deus. Yeah, Deus is the one I was thinking of. Um, it's a negative zero. What? To look what? at the crew number. Negative zero. Oh, oh no. there it goes. With us. <laughs> Speaking of, we should probably get the the um, shield set up. But yeah, take the um, dais and do a recon in force. Yeah. Just grab all of our ships and do a recon in real force. Well, we don't want to bring the shadow because it's... Uh, except the shadow, of course. If we bring too many ships, then any combat will just be a really boring slog. <laughs> yeah. Well, not if they have only one ship. Well, then it will just They might have more than one. Interesting challenge. Like. If there's more than, if there's less than one ship, then we'll be able to just sit at that range and barrage them to death. Well, if there's less than one ship, we don't have any trouble because they don't have any ships. I s yeah, that yeah. Right. Well, um, yeah. Let's take out the days. Is that morale correct, or is that not accounting for the new... VP oh, pack? I can fix that up now, don't I? Yeah. So, because you're here, uh, you're no, going to... The minus one's from the uh, crew, crew reclamation. reclamation for, okay, okay, yeah. yeah. That's right, it used to be a lot lower than that. If we... Um, are all the mines now... Cleared, or is one of the actual mines of Letrion? The actual mines are still active. We might then want to go there first. Go and have a bit of a look oh, around been there. Reactivated and um, blow up anything we find. Take anything that looks interesting. And then return back to football to see if any. Inquisitorial agents decided to turn up and tell us what we should be doing. To be honest, yeah. I think that we should probably just check in on the colonies uh, that we have and do a little bit of housekeeping first. Yeah, we could probably do a quick circuit of the. Yeah. Yeah, about how. Because we're probably going to be seeing chaos action over there soon, given what we just did. Let's yeah. be fair yeah. here. Um, we should and probably check because we've got a chaos. Right? force that's actually yet, sort of so. pissed off at us and knows us by name. Yes. Yeah. 
if we did the sort of route to Solace, Delca, and Terranova, then we could even go from there, direct jump to the mines of Letrion. From Terranova? Yeah. yeah. Looks closer on a map, at least. Well, in that way, we're not going through the cauldron like we did last time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're actually going to be hitting the gap between the uh, Cenaris Maleficarum and or Maleficum and the cauldron, which would be nice. And I was just thinking it's quite a nice little triangular route to go from here to Solis to Belka to Terranova. Yeah. We do need to check on our systems. Yeah, and I don't want to do anything heavy. More. You know, we could always say that we have these other ships with us and just have them not be in any space combat to make well, yeah, these simpler. Basically, any ships we haven't got with us that aren't in dock being repaired, I would have on patrol around those three systems, probably. Yeah. But if we go and do that, then, I don't know, we could probably call it there, actually. Yeah. yeah do, the, do the checking on our stuff and then call it? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I guess we want to do some more warp travel then. Hooray. Yay. Yeah, at least it's a long one. repairs on the shield? <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Set it needs mission. what? Two points. Two points. Patching. Yeah. Yeah, so a week's worth. Unless I roll another one. Forever. <laughs> yeah, just roll yeah. it. Alright, uh, tech use. We're it's good. good. And 1d5. That's okay. it. <laughs> so that's on the shield? Yeah, shield. Yeah. Back up to 41. So you're just taking the shield out on a little patrol. With the dais. Yeah. As it here. Yeah. And possibly well, actually, which, which ships did we leave at Hookwall? The claw and the dais. Yeah. If we take the claw with us and just leave it around that triangle. Don't we have three ships on patrol? I thought we had to. Brought, we brought them in for a refit. Yeah. Yeah, you brought everything kind of in for refit, I think. I don't even know how many ships I've got. <laughs> Five. <laughs> What's the other one? Oh, the uh, freighter. Fateful journey. Oh, of course. Cool. The one that we've just completely ignored the uh, event that's supposed to happen on it. It, it's doing its little trade run thing. Yeah. But yeah, let's go check on our stuff. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. So. That's Sin. Sin? Yeah. Wakey, wakey. Yep. Oh. Oh. oh so what oh trouble dear. happens? Oh dear. I guess I could fade point there, but no. Well, it's the augury, so it's not too bad. Yep. Uh, aren't we going to a place we already know? Oh yeah, we skipped that, so it's, it's actually, um, translation, so it's willpower tests. Oh, you sure, let's use that for willpower tests then. It'll flub it really badly. Everyone else? I passed. Why are we doing willpower? Isn't it a known route? And everything? Oh yeah, true, yeah. Right, so, locate the Astronomicon. Let's find one of those things. They're always handy. Wow. You suck today. I've, I've used up all my good rolls. I think I, I think I blocked it with my blood. I think that we need to clean the fish tank. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a yeah, fair that's a point. Sin, you took a ton of damage, didn't you? Yeah, but I've already healed it. Yeah, it's been a week. It heals really quickly. There are a yeah. few like bad psychic vibes around the ship after I executed a bunch of psychers. 
Yeah. Probably, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Time to roll your navigation check. Let's see if I can pass this one without the astronomic on. And minus 60. Yeah. Apparently. <laughs> You don't need Fine. it. Fine, who needs the Astronomicon, really? I mean, it's, it's nice the Emperor to provide it and all, but... Considering how often we get to use it? Yep, so that's, uh, that's like, um, well, on a modified check, that's 8 degrees, or 7 degrees success, I should say. So, 1? Yeah. So yeah, that's still a degree of success. Even, even with the minus 60 hellish test for not having an Astronomicon to go by. Unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it's probably one of the most common routes we fly. You should be quite used to it by now. That's yeah, fair. Yep. So, where are you heading to first? Just do uh, your, your trip on you. you get to Solace. Yeah, I guess we'll hit, hit Solace, then I'll yeah. go then turn over. That's six days. Back to roll me your first... Um, your only walk travel encounter for this? No, um, someone else want to roll it. My dice are a bit um, variable. I'll do it. Mm. Oh, we'll go with the 18. Yep. So you arrive in Solace. No problems here. They're starting to rebuild after the attack. Yeah. Doing quite well. Right. They've had a few more shipments of green slaves in. All good. Good. What we like here? Yep. So, Belka time. Belka time. Yep. Let's see if we have an Astronomicon this time. Yay! Well, this is only one day, so it's yeah. There's yep. still a warp encounter. Yeah, it's still a warp encounter. Yeah, we have, and, even and, if it was as slow as it could be, it would be a warp encounter, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just a pass. Nothing fancy. Okay. I'll roll. Ding, ding. Let's take the 25. <laughs> uh, Delusion Mirage. Which is a psychic encounter. Everyone gets a warp hallucination. Yeah. Hooray. Well, unless you try and avoid it. Oh, yeah, well, might as well try and avoid it, but. Well, there's a sense of uh, finding the thing, so let's see the pilot roll. It's psychic, so... Psychic, so that's done. That's a contest of strength. Make me a strength test. Uh, yeah, I guess I got that before a strength test happened. Um, rawr, I wrestle the warp to the ground. Apparently yeah, no you do quite well. Yep, yeah, so you avoid that, no problems. And arrive in Belka. Is so, anything here? Yeah, Belka is here. One second while I do a quick calculation. It's always reassuring. Yes, the planet it is, is not in fact missed. still there. I need to ring up Dad and tell him I shot his astropath. Oh, yeah, yeah I suppose. He's, he's not too impressed. Velcro's not changed in size since your last bit. Yeah, he's kind of like, really? Do you know how expensive those things are? He's not all <laughs> demonified. I blame you and your hiring practices. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. Uh, right. <laughs> right, um, I guess turn over next then? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Well, let's have an astronomicon. Dead, huh? <laughs> yeah, we have an astronomicon. That is a pretty damn bright astronomicon. Yeah, yeah, it's it's well lit today. So you navigate perfectly as well. So that's another five days. Yep. You're probably less than that actually, because that's really perfectly. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, it's it's success, but still a warp encounter. So yeah, two days. Like a nine-day jump. Nine days of warp travel so far, this little round trip. Macarius, roll dice. Yeah. Hmm? Roll yeah, dice for the, up. um... Oh, let's test that one. Boop, boop. There we go. Uh, oh, I think oh, we'll take yeah. the eight. Yeah. yeah. Nothing happens. This is like your most inconsequential gel. Yeah. 
Pretty good. set of jumps ever. This is amazing. Yeah. <clears throat> Weird. So. What's going on at Terra Nova? Um, basically the building. Um, okay. They're starting to train troops, though. They're expanding oh, their well, army. They kind of okay. expect you need, you're going to need some fresh men. So. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. We should that's probably start taking tithes from them. For the house guard. Um, I don't know. There's, there's the big dreadnought man. Yeah. He gave me a lollipop. That was how many years ago? <laughs> You've got to remember these things when you're a big leader in business, you know. <laughs> it's not every day you see a dreadnought with a lollipop launcher. <laughs> and that's the important thing. <laughs> also, while they're still building up, I don't want to interfere with them building up. Yeah. It's like, we want them to yeah, defend themselves. Oh yeah, but once they have a proper PPF. Yeah. Well, they actually had a pretty good... PDF up there already. All they really needed is okay. a uh, large amount of good guns to make them more modern. Yeah. Which and armor and so on. We can happily provide for a we did. relatively we minimal. We didn't theme. show up until after. <laughs> then, yeah. Um, until they've rebuilt and are actually producing things of note that can be traded. There's not a great deal that they can tie other than a small amount of people. Well, how many years has it been since... I mean, we've had a lot of game time fly by. Um, right, one second, I'll check my notes. Maybe... Um, what might be a decade. What, since the attack on Terranova? Yeah, yeah, since the war. Uh, battle was 22 years into the timeline. You're about nine years. Wow, yeah. that's so, okay. Yeah, the, the rebuilding's going well. Yeah, we might actually consider discussing what we can do for each other. I don't know if I want to do that now. Yeah, they're basically they're building the troops as quickly as they can. Um, so it's, it's still going to be a while before they can replace all the losses in the war. I mean, if they're going to be training up a decent quality of troop that are decently armed, that they're willing to let us hire as and when we need them, then I'm quite happy to leave them as they are. Yep. Because a large amount of mercenaries that think very fondly of us is generally a good thing to have. Well, they're not so much mercenaries as... Um... They, they, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> Alright, so your empire seems pretty safe. There's been no um, attempts to move closer. Yeah. It looks like whatever the um, Chaos forces are doing, they're not pushing actively at the moment. They're still consolidating their power. Okay. But it's only been a couple of years since, you know, you really started hitting Zers and Hard. Yeah. So. Yeah, so it's so. going to be recolonizing rather than, or rebuilding uh, his mining bases rather than going. We need to blow these people up right now. So, are we going to call it here, or are we going to make the jump to Mines of Letrion? Uh, I think we call it here. Sounds okay. right. Yeah, I've got to come up with something, so... We'll do that jump when we possibly got more crew around. Yeah. yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. More than just the four of us would be nice. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. Especially because things are getting rather interesting. 
Yes. Okay, so you've done good progress. Yeah. Yep. You've got the wheels of the Imperium turning. It's going to be many years Slowly. before the wheels. Of, yeah. Yeah, in like <laughs> one years, they might actually get an Inquisitor look at it. Yeah. Uh, they tend to be pretty good about that kind of thing, especially if it's a real threat. Well, they, you know, you it gives them quite a have standard video anyway. evidence of fighting a goddamn space marine. But they might dispatch a few, like, agents. Yeah. It'll be a while before an actual Inquisitor shows up, though, uh, yeah. And, you know, an Inquisitor's secretary might even read their reports. Uh, oh, the secretary of the Inquisitor's secretary, at least. Yeah. The real question is, how many Inquisitors are there in the Coronas Expanse? Probably about two. I know of one at the minute. But that's Ordo Xeno, I believe. They're, they're probably Which is the kind we don't want to deal with. There'd probably be a couple of Xenos, maybe uh, whatever the heretical one is. Hereticus. Hereticus, Hereticus Malleus. I would, and, be, uh, I would be surprised if there wasn't an Ordo Malleus one out here. I would be very crazy warp storm out here, just because there's bugger all of them anywhere. Well, there's also you know all the psychers on footfall that are all unsanctioned, and they can't get a, they can't they keep trying to capture them, but it doesn't work because they're organised. Yeah. Damn those organised psychers! God, it's like they can read minds or something. I know. It's just it's just not fair. Anyway. I think it's a good place, place to call it for this week, so... Yep. See what trouble you can get into next week. Yay. Yep. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, no, no.